Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn ROCD concepts, right? So in this session, we are going to understand what is ROCD concept and the detail about these concepts, right? Okay, so let's start. So first of all, ROCD is an open source continuous delivery. That means D tool that automates the deployment and synchronization of Kubernetes applications, right? And it is based on the GitOps pattern, which uses Git repository as the source of truth for defining the desired state of the application. Okay. So that's the short information about Argo City, right? So let's un understand Argo City concepts. So let's assume you are familiar with code, Git, Docker, Kubernetes, continuous delivery, and GitOps concepts. So below are some concepts that are specified to Argo City, right? So here I mentioned some Argo City concepts like application, application source type, target state, live state, and sync status, sync, sync operation, the refresh health tool, and so on. So that's the some Argo City concepts, right? So let's understand in detail. So first of all, application, right? So an Argo City application represents a set of Kubernetes resources defining in a Git repository, right? So application are described using a declarative configuration store in a YAML file within a Git repository, right? And here, as you can see, an application is associated with a Git source repository, a path within that repository and a destination where the Kubernetes resources should be deployed. And which is typically is namespace Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so that's the application. So the next Git uh, Argo City concept is GitOps. Okay, so let's understand GitOps. So Argo City follows the GitOps principle, which emphasizes use utilizing Git as a single source of truth for the desired state of your infrastructure and applications. So in GitOps, any changes to the infrastructure or deployments are made through commits to the Git repository. And Argo CD ensure that the state of the cluster matches the configuration defined in a repo, right? So that's the GitOps concept. The next concept is repository. So what is repository? So the Git repository contains the declarative specifications of the application managed by Argo CD. And Argo CD continuously monitor the repository for changes and ensure that the cluster state matches the declared state in the Git repository. And a Git repository where the desired state of application is stored from the Kubernetes manifest file or in a Helm chart. Okay. Kubernetes manifest file or a Helm chart. Then Argo City monitors the specified branches like tags or specific commits in a Git repository for changes, right? The next is sync policy. So the next, uh, next concept is sync policy. So sync policies define how often Argo City should check the Git repository for changes and synchronize the cluster state. Then Sing, uh, you can configure the sync policy to meet the requirements of your deployment workflow, right? You can see here, it uh, can be manual or automated, right? And it could be configured to auto-prone resources to or do self-healing. Okay, the next is sync operation. Okay, so the next Argo City concept is sync operation. So sync is an operation that Argo City performs to align the state of the Kubernetes cluster with the state defined in the Git repository. And during a sync operation, Argo City compares the live state, that means resources in a cluster, and with the desired state, means manifest in repository and applies in any differences. Then next is health status, right? So let's check health status concept. So Argo City provides a health status indicator for each application and showing whether the application is healthy or if there is an issue. Okay, then health information is based on the status of the resources in the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, 
and it provides visual feedback about the resources held in the Argo CD dashboard. So you can check the health status also. The next concept is revision history, right? So the next concept is revision history. So let's check revision history. So Argo CD keep track of you of each sync operation, synchronized operation, right? Including what changes were applied and when. So the history allows you to roll back to previous version if necessary. The next is project. So a project is a way to organize and group application within Argo CD. Okay. Then it allows you to set permission, customize, synchronize settings, and define policies in the project level. And you can see which can share common access policies, source repositories, destinations, and more. And project allows for better organizing and managing access control also. Then next is resource difference, right? So what is resource difference concept? So resource difference is the computed difference between the desired state different uh, defined in a Git, the actual state of resources in the Kubernetes cluster. And Argo study shows these differences, making it easy to understand what changes will be applied or have been applied. Then next concept is cluster. Okay, so the next concept of Argo study is cluster. So let's check about the cluster, right? So here, as you can see, Argo CD can support deploying applications to various clusters. And each configured Kubernetes cluster is considered a distinct deployment target. So that's the Argo CD concept of cluster, right? Then next concept is Helm, Customize, or JSNet, okay? So let's check, that's the concept. Argo CD supports multiple configuration management tools such as Helm, Customize, and JSONet. So this flexibility allows you to manage your application in the way the best suit your needs and workflow. Okay, the next is self healing Okay, so if enable Argo CD with continuously watch and ensure that the live state matches and the desired state in the repository, if discrepancy is detected, Argo CD will automatically attempt to correct it. That's the self healing concept of Argo CD. Okay, the next is web UI or you can say CLI. So Argo City provides a web-based user interface, that means UI, and common line tool, that means CLI, for interacting with a managing applications. And the UI gives an overview of the system state and provides health status information and visualize resources difference and allows you to in in initiate sync operations. That's the web UI or CLI. Okay, so that's the concept, right? Now the next is application source type. So which tool is used to build the application, right? Application source type means which tool is used to build the application. So let's check the tools. So the first tool is target state, right? So let's check the target state here. So the target state, the desired state of an application as represented by files in a Git repository. So that's the target state. And the target state of application as represented by files in a Git repository also. Then next is live state, right? So the actual state of an application running on a Kubernetes cluster, right? You can see here the live state of application, what ports it is here are deployed. That means here, the actual state of application running on a Kubernetes cluster. Then next type is sync operation status. So the sync operation status means whether or not a sync succeed. Okay. Then next is refresh. Okay. So the process of comparing the latest code in a Git with the live state of an application. So that's the refresh. The next is health. 
So the health of application indicating whether it is running correctly and can serve request. That's the health status. Okay. So that's the Argo CD concepts. So as you can see here, we have learned multiple Argo CD concepts like application, then GitOps, repository, sync policy, sync operations, health status, revision history, project, resource difference, cluster, helm customize and JSON it, then self-hailing, then web UI or CLI. And after that, we have learned application source type like target state, live state, sync operation status, refresh and help, right? So that's the Argo CD concepts, right? So in this session, we have learned Argo CD concepts, right? So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.